Good afternoon, everybody. How are you? Welcome to Friday Live with Glue. We have got a fantastic new launch for you today. We are looking at paper discovery and it's cozy kitchen. So how many of you have been baking ready for Christmas in your kitchen? Getting all those smells going, that cinnamon and those freshly baked Christmas cakes and all of that and feeling nice and warm. Now we've got something that completely celebrates that but also takes you through the rest of the year. Now, as always, we have got some fantastic prizes for you too. So we are giving away two bundles, that's four, two bundles live today. That's um, at the end of the hour. So around about 1.30, we're going to be announcing the names. Now, if you want to be in with a chance of winning those, they are bundles of the new collection. All you need to do is be commenting. You don't need to say anything in particular. Whether you're on Facebook or whether you're on YouTube, we will choose a winner from each. So um, get commenting, just say hello, how are you, how's the weather? I'm in the new studio now and I've got a lovely big window here so I can see what the weather's like. You know I'm obsessed with what the weather's like every week. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick hello hopefully to everybody. I've got one of these new phones, it's a new phone and it doesn't like to um, open very easily. It's one of these things, I need my face right in front of it. How good are you all with um, technology? I'm not great. So let me just see if I can get your comments up very quickly. Where's our video? There we are. Bear with me. Let's go over to YouTube instead. Try and get, get you all. There we go. Right. So hello to Roseanne. She's cozy in her kitchen right now. This is over on YouTube. Um, to Beth Rogers, she said she loves Olga's projects uh, products and projects as well. Um, hello to Lou. Um, how, oh, fabby prizes. Yes, they are fab prizes. Now, we've got huge bundles. Now, there's the third chance to win. Also, if you stay tuned at the end, I will remember, I will remember to give you the details for that as well. But essentially, before we go over and say hello to the lovely Olga who is joining us live today, we have got 25% off of the new cozy kitchen kitchen collection kitchen collection say that very quickly we've got 25% off no you don't need a code for that and this discount is already applied for you on the website and if you are purchasing the entire collection because you are going to love everything and it all works together really well you're looking at only 62.99 for everything in the cozy collection Cozy Kitchen Collection. I've got to change the name. Olga, we need to change the name of this collection because I'm just not getting it. Should we go and say hello to Olga? Because I'm sure she will be a lot less tongue-tied than I am. So hello, Olga. How are you? Hi, Lou. I'm doing fine. I also have a window in front of me and at the moment I'm seeing two woodpeckers. Are you really? So I'm yeah, uh -huh. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I wish we could just turn that window right round, turn the screen round so we could see those as well. We very rarely see woodpeckers here, or certainly I do, and I live near a forest, so you're very lucky. She's going to be distracted now. Olga's going to be just looking out the window instead. What's the weather like for you there, Olga? Fine. It's not as cold as it normally is at this time of year, so I'm enjoying it. <laughs> nice, nice. And do you have a particularly cozy kitchen yourself? Uh, not yet, but I'm working on it. You're working on it, yeah. I have big plans. That's well, we can, we can craft one up, can't we, with this new collection. Um, tell us, Olga, when you were designing Cozy Kitchen, um, what made you think of it? What made you want to do this sort of theme? Uh, first of all, of course, uh, the food and cooking is such an essential part of our lives and uh, every celebration is about the food and about cooking. So I think the cards should reflect this side of our life. And uh, the second thing is that vintage kitchen appliances and furniture are so cute. <laughs> they and are. I think that we also, we should be able to use that on cards. So this is how the idea came over. And I also have a doll houses with this tile kitchen that I really do love. And oh, wow. so that's just my passion. And I hope some people will share it. Absolutely. We love your collections because they're a little bit on the quirky side. They're really unique. Um, and th because they're so different, we don't see other things on the craft market like this. So I'm really excited to show everybody what we've got. So I'm going to allow you time to just switch your camera around and do all that because I know you've got a demonstration for us using the Cozy Kitchen. 
um, which I can't wait to see how you've put it together. We've got some cards here that myself and the design team have done, but you always just have such a unique style. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'll be back with you in just a few minutes, Olga. See you. Lovely, thank you. There, yeah, she's absolutely adorable. She's so sweet. I kind of want to just put her in my pocket and keep her with me. So what I'm going to do first of all now is bring you down to my desk and I'm going to show you everything that's in this collection. So we have got first, shall I show you some cards first? Shall we go through those? Um, I have got some comments from other people as well. So sorry, I did get onto Facebook in the end. It was my phone just saying, not today. Um, Teresa Trump, she says she loves Olga's scene building. Yes, that's what Olga does so well. I mean, if you look at these cards, we're looking at beautiful scenes being built here. Uh, Cheryl Thomas, Roxy Lou, um, hello to you too. Rena Hurst, you're all here every week. We are Appreciate you joining us every week. Don't forget any comments, even just a hello, and you're in the chance of winning over £140 worth of product. That's your share. We're splitting that between three of you, and you're all going to get a selection of the new dies, stamps, there's embossing folders, there's even papers as well. Hello to Carol Lewis, to uh, Mandy Garforth, to Jude Barkley, Roseanne, Lynn Clifton. There's so many of you. I may have even actually repeated some names there, but thank you so much for joining us. So let's take a look at some of these cards. We have got this beautiful, like an old Arga. Now, we, Arga is a brand, I believe, but you know the sort of oven I mean when I talk about an Arga. How fun is that? Would you love to be making your Christmas dinner on an oven like this? I know I would. I could do with the extra room. But the beauty of this die set that Olga's designed is that you can have it as a dresser instead if you want to. So it can be like a Welsh dresser. You can decorate it in any way you want. And then where we've talked about Olga's scene building, you've got all the accessories to start building up pieces on there as well. Then there's things like this a fantastic trolley. So you've got that, your maid's trolley there with some cakes on. Absolutely perfect for a birthday. We've got this table and chairs. It's all included. And look at the background. Look at that scene with the clock on the wall and the beautiful floral wallpaper. And you've even got the panelling there too. Um, I'll show you that embossing folder in a minute. Look at this. Isn't that just amazing? Absolutely fantastic. I love that card. I love the way it opens up to reveal what's behind. And we've got all these baking and cooking goodies there. And then another embossing folder just in mirror card there. Hopefully you can see that. We've got cupcakes and we've got scales and kettles and all sorts, all themed from the kitchen in there. So I'm going to pop those to the side and show you the actual products. Uh, Tracy Ann says she adores these. Yeah, they, and Maureen says, oh wow, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Who doesn't love a little bit of cooking? If you are a um, Great British Bake Off Fan. I was trying to get my words out there. If you're a fan of that or baking and cooking, you are going to love these. So this is the die that cuts sort of like that Welsh dresser, but then it can also be the Arga or the oven. I don't know whether Olga has another um, another name for it, for the oven. We'll ask her in a moment. But included with this, you also have things like the tiles that go in the background. You have the hooks, you have the doors and the drawers, all of those. I'm making a mess of putting this back in. There's a lot of metal in that packet. Okay, that is beautiful. So that for me is the main part of this whole collection. But then we have, I'm going to show you these two next, stamp and die sets. And they these are combinations. So you've got the outline dies, for the stamps. You can see mine are well loved and well used. Um, I've adored playing with these. We've got things like you've got the oven, uh, the oven, <laughs> the apron there, we've got the sign, we've got the cakes, we've got the whisk and all of these bits for baking and then everything you need to cut out elements including that's where that trolley die comes in. You don't need a stamp for that, you just simply cut that little tea trolley out. And then if you want to add even more, we've got these additional pieces. So then we've got your cooking utensils, your oven mitts, your jars of, you've got some dried fruit there, you've got some maybe flour in there, you've got a chopping board, uh, you've got a lovely baked pie. You've got your table and chairs as well that we saw in some of the cards. These are good fun. What's a card without a good sentiment? And when those sentiments can be almost like puns as well, I love that. So uh, life is what you bake it. I think that's brilliant. Happiness is homemade inside the rolling pin there. Cooking with love. Uh, cooking is my passion. Time to bake. 
the best memories are made around the table. Now that can be your cooking table, your kitchen table rather, or it could be your craft table even, who knows. Then we've got embossing folders. These are beautiful A5 embossing folders. You've seen those, I showed you those images on the cardstock. They are beautiful, deep embosses, really gorgeous. Now this scene is just lovely for putting that dresser in front of or a table and chairs, sitting that there and building up your scenes. And lastly, from this collection, we've also got here the papers. Now these are gorgeous, absolutely stunning. They're single-sided, they are, just check, yep, they're 190 GSM. We've got like your gingham there for your tablecloth. We've got this fantastic design with the little ditzy prints that's donuts and uh, your jars, your cupcakes there, your wooden spoons, all your other utensils and kettles. We've got the pinstripe as well, the ivory and blue. We've got another one, all oh, cakes, pastries and breads in there. And then, now this is mine, so I need to flick to the ones that I haven't shown you. There we go, the floral one. Isn't that pretty? And that really does remind me of a nice country kitchen as well. And then there is one more that I need to find for you. Hoping I've not used them all up. <gasps> that one, there we go. Look at this, can you see that? There's little dots in there, absolutely beautiful. So already there is 25% off of this entire collection. Um, with this, if you want to purchase the, the whole collection, it's only $62.99. It's all there for you on the bar. I'm going to leave that up as long as I can. Um, I think Olga can probably just about work around that for us so we can leave it up there. But then we've also got a deal on the Moroccan Nights, which we'll be coming to in a little while. Now, Olga, I'm going to come back to you um, so you can do the demonstrating, if that's okay. Yes. She's there, lovely. Thank you so much. Uh, we're with you now. Can you see me? Can't hear you, Olga, I'm sorry. Can you see me? We can see you, can't hear you very well. You might need to shout a little bit. Okay, so uh, let's start with the card. Mm -hmm. I'm going to feature this um, cozy kitchen, perfect kitchen die set and so the largest die sets out the shape that can be used for both the oven and and the cupboard depending on what add-ons you use mm -hmm. so the size of it is about four and a quarter by six and a half so it's going to fit perfectly onto the five by seven card front uh, but this time i'm going to do something a little bit different and i want to create a shaped card instead okay. so i have used that die and i've die cut this shape out of black cardstock and uh, this card base is uh, out of pattern paper and it's just four by five and a half okay so now i'm going to just before i stick it down i want to add some just a tiny bit of color and here I have some uh, metallic rub on uh, paint oh. and you can use any gilding paste or you can use the dry brush technique and your uh, acrylic paints for instance so I'm just applying a tiny bit of those and you see how it instantly makes the debossed pattern stand out actually yes. there are both debossed and embossed elements You've got some lovely detail in there that you do really want to pick out, don't you? Because it is stunning. Yeah, it's very vintage, very, very realistic. Mm. Absolutely. So and I'll put a little bit onto the bottom here. So we were talking the oven part that you can opt to put in if you want to. Do you call that an Arga or do you have another name for it? For what? For the uh, oven part. Uh, the oven, I don't know, a furnace maybe. Oh, <laughs> a furnace, this, yeah. This meant for, yeah, this, uh, I guess this vintage one mm. can be used with the firewood. So it, oh. it is a furnace. Um, so now I'm just using a little bit of glue. And I'm going to stick it down, stick down the shape onto my card base. So what glue are you using there? This is the craft stash oh, glue lovely. and it's double sided. This is the broad side and this is the fine tip. I love that. 
Brilliant. I wouldn't have thought of making a shaped card, but of course you can. It's a really clever idea. So now I'm just placing it onto my card front like that. That's the name. Marie's just said it's usually called a range. There we go. I know Arga's a uh -huh. brand and we shouldn't say that, but um, I couldn't think of the other name. It's a range. A range oven. Great. Um, there we go. Karen says she loves this collection. It reminds her of her grandmother's kitchen. Um, and Roxy Lee has said this could be used as a lovely craft unit for a friend, a crafty friend's card. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it could be a bookshelf as well if you put books on there. Um, it really can be used for such a multitude of things. Absolutely. You can put the toys uh, on there, maybe some Christmas decorations if you want to, to use it for Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you have any small images, will do. Just choose any that are fitting the occasion and mm -hmm. here you have it. I think so, you could oh. also cut the top piece off and it could be a fireplace, couldn't it? Yes, totally. This arch part could be a fireplace or a window. Oh, of course, yeah. So many ideas now. Just so well, many more <laughs> ideas just from talking to you, Olga. The next step is, I think, stamping a sentiment. So mm -hmm. I'll be using this rolling pin. I really like it. And the stamp set is simply food. It's A5 size, has lots, lots of sentiments. This one says happiness is homemade. Mm. I think I'll try to use my stamping tool here. And I'm just going to stamp it out with the black ink. <laughs> Lynn said she's now imagining flames in the lower section as if it was a fire or a furnace, I guess. Could be either. It is warm in any case. <laughs> yeah, it's warm and that's what we want for this time of year. Nice and cosy. Just I'd like I'd like to know from everybody in the comments what have you been doing to get into the Christmas spirit what have you been doing your shopping have you put your decorations up or are you completely avoiding it this year until the last minute um, everyone's different aren't they some people even in November had their Christmas decorations up hopefully you've done your crafting for Christmas <laughs> Perfect. So that stamps we... really well. Yeah, really like the image. So now since this time we are making the oven, I have used this part and this die actually cuts out the background mm -hmm. plus all the doors and tiny details. And yes. I've uh, die cut it twice. So the background is going to be that brown and all the inserts are silver metallic card. Ah, so, so you, this, you're paper piecing. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. So, so this kind of answers uh, Lynn Stubbington's question. She said, does the bottom section of the large die cut out or emboss? So the oven part, the range, whatever you want to call it, the furnace, that will cut out the elements that you can see Olga is now gluing and putting on. On the base of the die, that that bottom part is a completely solid part, but you do get doors and drawer fronts that you can cut out separately to place on as well. Yeah. There are, there are the doors. So, Here's the doors if you want to create, and drawers. And there's little handles and all sorts, isn't there? And hinges, it's great. But so Lynn, yeah, you can really build that up to be whatever you want to in the base. We're giving you a solid, or Olga is giving you a solid base to start with and all the pieces you need to build up whatever you want it to be. But how that just comes to life when you put that on. Yes, so, so now, just a second. Um, as, as soon as you stick uh, down the background, it's pretty easy to finish off the card because you just have to finish off the puzzle. Uh, you know, now you know exactly mm -hmm. where everything is going. Yeah. So you just uh, all we need to do is to just to stick down all those tiny little pieces and they fill into place 
just in a moment. Would you make those doors so that they open? I think if you use actually use these hinges and try to, you can make them open. And yes, yeah. that's good fun. They are tiny though, but yeah, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, some people like to be really fiddly, don't they, with their projects? Is that a different color mirror card you've popped in there? Yeah. That's I tried lovely. this one, but I thought the the silver works better. But I think I can still use one yeah. one piece of definitely. That looks lovely like that. So and you see that every door also has that in debossed details, mm -hmm. and especially if you use any shiny card, they are going to stand out really well. It really shows up. Don't yeah. forget, everybody, if you're still looking for Christmas gifts, we do have craft stash gift vouchers available. So for all your crafty friends, or maybe you want to suggest it to your friends and family, they can just get you a craft stash gift voucher that you can spend then later on on whatever you'd like. It's actually the perfect way of getting what you really want for Christmas, isn't it? This is coming together absolutely beautifully and so quickly as well. Yeah, I think I've found my precision applicator bottle. So, I, and now I'm going to just insert all those little turners. Okay. Switches, or whatever they're called. Uh, yeah, they're the dials, aren't they? And, and, and I'm always using the craft sash pickup pencil for tiny details like those, because those are really, really hard to manipulate with just the hands. That just makes it so much quicker than trying to pick it up with some tweezers. I've mislaid mine. I need to actually go on and order myself another one. Uh, but it's really inexpensive. It's such a handy tool to have. Um, if anybody's wondering about the latest offers that we have on at Craft Stash, every day these offers change, but you can always find them under one particular tab on the homepage on Craft Stash. And if you go on to just craftstash.co.uk or craftstash.us, you'll see at the top there, there is um, a yellow block that says latest offers. And when you go on there, that's got everything, all our latest deals, our new collections and all of these. Um, but they will be all there for a little while. So at the moment, there's over 50 latest offers for you to go through. And to be honest, it's my go-to when I first go to the website. Unless I'm searching for something really specific, I'll go browse through those first, see what bargains I can get. This is fantastic. Well, I also have to show you these. There are also some tiny details, and um, those fittings are for the doors. So if you, for in, I have already used a very shiny cardstock, so I won't be using any of those this time. Mm -hmm. But if you want to add them, um, let's say you have black doors or some dark yeah. color, and uh, if you use the silver fittings, they will really look great. Fantastic, absolutely amazing. So, um, are you, you going to have an option if to use them or not and to make it quicker or more detailed? Uh, Benita says it looks beautiful, Olga. Uh, Jules May says, Olga, they look so cute, she loves them. Um, and Natalie Lewis says she hasn't looked today yet at the latest of us, but she will be doing that after this live. So, uh, Kira, I have, Sorry, always, I have also attached the hooks. They are also the part of the set. And here is another die that comes with the stuff. And this one um, cuts out. It is actually an embossing piece. So the um, shape is cut out with the background die, okay. the one that cuts out the oven. And then you can use this one to create the tile pattern. And I think I'm going to use this one as well. But again, you can keep that um, background that's already there if that's what you want. But I think tiles will always look nice. And I was too quick to stick those down. So here we go. The tiles. Oh, lovely. And I will, I, I will add back the burners. Oh, of course, yes. So they're like the, we call them the hobs. 
or I call them the hobs anyway. I can't speak for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. It does make me want to go baking. Um, my daughter's receiving, she doesn't know this yet and she won't be watching. She should be in school, so she shouldn't be watching. Um, she'll be receiving a subscription to um, like a baking pack. So every month she gets this baking pack through the door that has all the dry ingredients and the method for baking something new, bread or cakes or whatever. So this would be a perfect card for her to go along with that gift. I think so many more people are getting into baking now as well. Yeah, that's a great hobby. At, um, at present, I do not bake because I'm on a diet and I don't eat pastries, so it would be a torture to bake. Oh, yes. You wouldn't want to <laughs> do that. I temporarily don't do that. No. But so we, we use this the is why so this cool. time I'll be using not the baking set, okay. but the cooking set. Right. It's called Picking Up the Storm, and there are plenty of um, stamps there, and there's um, a matching die for each and every stamped image. And there is also the table plus a couple of chairs, and those one are just the dice. Mm -hmm. And they are perfect to use with both the cupboard and the oven. So here I have already stamped the images uh, using just the black ink and uh, the same uh, the scraps of paper that I used for the background for the card base. Okay. And then I fussy cut them, although you can definitely use the matching dies. I know a lot of people hate the process. And yeah. so this is why we thought of everything. So Absolutely. it's, in my opinion, it's very convenient to stamp as many images as you can and have them die cut or cut out. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you have an opportunity to play around with them and uh, see how many of those you want to use. And then you can keep the rest for other projects. Definitely. And you can really personalize them, can't you? I love having so that. So. Of course, you can hang. Yeah, you can hang the oven gloves. You can hang the pots. You can hang the utensils up. It's entirely. You can up put. To you. Let's say you can put the pot over here mm -hmm. onto another burner. Just whatever you want. There are lots of opportunities. I really like this mitten, but I think I wonder if that would be too much. I wish I could put all of them there. I know. But I How think I'll, I'll have. I'll just have to make more cards. Oh, absolutely! I'm sure you will. I'm sure we'll see things like videos from you soon on the YouTube channel and um, more examples of these on social media. So, I think this is what I will be doing. So I'm simply sticking them down. Mm -hmm. I could, of course, use the sticker paper. That would be really practical, but I didn't think of that. But you can always use a good old glue. It always works. Always absolutely, helps you. Absolutely, absolutely. So what size envelope would this go into? I think five by seven will be perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Most of us have those. If not, we it's do... It's just a tiny bit larger than four and a quarter by five and a half. It's a bit longer. Right. So five by seven will be fine. Standard envelope. It doesn't have a lot of bulk at all totally mailable card great and if you don't have envelopes at home already we do have the uh, creative craft tools or creative craft products scoreboard and envelope maker available um, just launched a few weeks ago it's absolutely fantastic and it has an envelope guide so you can make your own envelopes to fit virtually any card yeah I love handy and useful tools like mm. those oh it's brilliant so, that, and so here that is fantastic. This is what the finished card looks like. I just love that. Turn it right, and it opens up just like this, and it can be standing on its own on the surface. Amazing. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much for demonstrating that for us, Olga. Um, we're going to come back to you. I'm just going to run through the collection again very quickly for everybody in the details, and then we're going to come back to you because. We're going to move on to another collection, aren't we? And I know you've got some inspiration to show us from that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Lovely. We'll be back with you in just a few moments then. Thanks, Olga. Thank you, Lou. <laughs> 
that beautiful card? I never would have thought of actually doing it as a shaped card, but she just makes it look so, so easy. So come on back down. Let's just remind ourselves of what's in this brand new cozy collection. Cozy collection. Cozy kitchen collection. Right. No more names like that, please. I'm going to speak to speak to everybody, all of our designers, and say you need to create collections that are nice and easy for me to say. So we've got the paper pad there. You've got 24 sheets in there, all different designs, six different designs, 190 GSM. That's A5. You've also got the A5 embossing folders there. They are beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. As with all of Olga's embossing folders, they do emboss really deeply. The detail is amazing in them. Then we've got those sentiments, and Olga's just used the happiness is homemade. Um, it's not a drawing pin, it's a rolling pin. There we go. I'm going to put my teeth in again for the next live. Then we've got the stamps and dies that Olga was using. So the one with the tables there, this is cooking up a storm. And then we've got the baking fun as well, the one with the trolley on and that big apron too. She's used a mixture of those. And what I would call the hero item in this collection is definitely the 2D Perfect Kitchen die set. This is that Welsh dresser, it's that oven, that range, that arga, the furnace, whatever you want to call it, and you can see the difference you can make with it simply by using different parts of the die together and mix and match them. There's eight dies in total in there, and as you saw from Olga, they are really actually quite large, so it makes fantastic cards like this. Beautiful. So that is the Cozy Kitchen. That's brand new to Craft Stash today. There's more inspiration images and such going to be online very shortly for you to see. So when you re receive yours at home, you're going to be able to see more inspiration to follow. But don't forget, already as an introductory offer only, so I'm not sure how long this deal is going to last, but there is 25% off of Cozy Kitchen. And if you're thinking, well, I love the dresser, but then I need the cooking and the baking to go with it. And actually, I really like the sentiment and so on and so forth. The entire collection is only $62.99. Now, if you're spending $62.99 because you're getting, I need to change that. I apologize. This one is different. It's over £30 to get your free delivery. I don't know how that slipped through the net, but it's spend over £30 in the UK. You'll get your free delivery there. Now we're going to move on to this red box down here because we've got another collection to show you. And I don't believe, if anything, we've shown you on a live with Lou before. So we have got Moroccan Nights. Now, this is an absolutely beautiful collection, again from Olga, as you can see, uh, launched not that long ago. So we've got a deal on it for you, a deal that's not been seen before. This paper pad is going to be for free if you're spending over £25 on Moroccan Nights. Now, what do you get with this? Well, let's have, aren't they amazing? Again, you can be doing really warm and cozy with these, with these rippy, um, the die set that I call the, the hero item of the collection. And for me, with Moroccan Nights, I think this one may need to be at that archway. This is a card that opens up and you can cut the archway in or you can have it like this so it sits flat on the card so it doesn't cut into it's an A5 card so you can see the sort of size that you're getting with this die set. There's the frame around, you've got the die that will cut down, beautiful beautiful die set and then this one is stunning as well so we've got the quadrifoil die set, this is five by seven and it's a good size die, always larger than it shows on the packet and you also have there the outline die included. It's so pretty cut from gold, but of course cut from absolutely any colour. It's going to be stunning. And you can use this in so many different ways. Parchment embossed there. Look at these. We have got uh, Arabian Nights. You have a heart of gold to the best friend of magic. And some beautiful images there. And I love that some of these are um, silhouettes as well. So you don't have to worry about the detail in those. Here's one, this a little bit of black and white. How striking is that? Then we have some stencils as well. We have the Moroccan tile stencils. So, doing it. Um, but we've got this card here with that stencil in the middle. We've got the quadrifoil in the background. We've also, <laughs> now this stamp is 
amazing. Okay, it's two stamps and they actually work beautifully separately on their own, but they work like this. How good does that look for tiles? And how amazing would these tiles look? If you were doing, say, blue and white, that would look fantastic with the cozy side. You've got the cutting die. So they're going to cut six individual tiles for you. And those tiles are then going to be beautiful there's another stencil for you there so we've got the bench we've got the wall to have a look and see if i can easily see it because i'm going to make one of these in a moment let me see where have you gone it's actually fallen off i had a little lantern here somewhere and it's gone there we go oh there's my excess die set so within here we have pieces that will make Two of you made them snowy with lights in. You can make them in any style you want, but that just works so well with the you could show us. Yes, I have some. Fantastic. Let's take a look can at you what see you can uh, patterns for Christmas as well. And um, this is exactly what I suggest you own dye that I used here. And then I just added uh, the Christmas elements. It also includes the geometric elements, like for instance, the this is the Moroccan arch and this time I didn't make it into opening doors instead I used the door insert any Christmas sentiment and uh, just let me let me find the right spot and a couple of flying birds just love that and this simple card is uh, all stamping and uh, included in the set and here I also have uh, the gift boxes that I made using the, a really unique die and it might look simple but it, it is actually designed to put together really easily it's one of the easiest boxes that I have ever seen actually yeah uh, all, it, all it takes is just one strap of adhesive the bottom is adhesive free the top is also adhesive free you can use the ribbon and uh, those boxes are all decorated in different ways for instance this one uh, here i use the die that is um included in the lantern set this one is using the style, cut and emboss folder and those tiles are also fitting perfectly onto amazing um i'm actually going to make one of those lanterns so, um, yeah, they're really fun to put together. We'll be finishing very soon, I think. But before we come and say goodbye to you, um, a few moments when I've shown everybody how to put one of these together. So it's one pass through, does all the cutting, all the notches and everything you need for you. So I'm going to run it through with a green, but I've got the four die cutting machine. Um, this is my big shot. But if you've got, I don't know, if you've got a Gemini or something, unless you want to punch little pieces from it or something like that. And then there we go. So that has all cut out. Now what you can do is inside of here, we have little tiles. Now these are absolutely amazing. So you've got the outline die. Then you also have these pieces here. So these, will cut out inserts for your lantern so you can cut them into the lantern and you can pick and choose which ones you want to use. So I've just taken one of these and cut into it. All done, so take a look at this. Now, if you want to do all four panels um, together, or all card stockings, because I kind of wanted like a patina look to it, just a little bit. So let's move the die machine out of the way and let's just bring in this so I've got my mat so what I'm going to do now I've got a strip of cardstock there I'm just going to fold along those lines very quickly just to make sure that I've already got those before I add any mediums to this because if I add mediums that I'm then going to start getting messy and start blocking up those score lines so I want to make sure I've already got those and another see it's really simple because the score lines are all put in there for you you don't need to be worrying about um, getting your lines just so that they're those creases are stronger and sharper but it's not a must I've used a cardstock lid again just folding back and there's ribbon slots in these as well there we go so just made sure all my lines are folders and I'm going to add a slightly 
dark metal look to this piece, but I'm just going to work on just putting some dabs of ink all over. Bit of a mess, to be honest. Black soot, yes, it's a black soot. Now in the oxide, the black soot is, it's a little green away from that and leaving little bits showing through. I'll leave the base as much as possible. Now before that, try and see how much, because a distress oxide does uh, dry really quickly. Again, being very random with this. And then we'll have the, and I've still got my tab there, my glue, so make sure that's nice and clear. And as this starts to heat set, I need to be reasonably quick with the, the copper colours starting to come through in a moment. I love embossing pow powder or emb heat embossing. It's actually the first thing that got me into paper crafting. The, the Moroccan Nights collection is absolutely beautiful. It will work with many of Olga's other collections. And at the moment, you're getting that free paper. And if you're looking for a gift or people are asking you what would you like for Christmas thing you like from Craft Stash, um, and it's a nice easy gift for people to get you, isn't it? At least you can choose the thing you want. Maybe there's nothing that, or you're holding out for something that you know is coming out. Or, or sometimes people just don't. If then, and I'm just going to peel the backing off of this. I used red line tape. And just, now the base, the base is so, so clever. As Olga said, no glue. Then the two side pieces. And then this last one that looks like a funnel is going to tuck into the centre and just some little LED lights. And just pop those in. You can you, know, you can put some parchment in there, some vellum if you want these back. Now, to put these together, as Olga said quite rightly, you don't need glue for this. If you want to, I'm just going to thread the twine through the ribbon slots. Whether it's twine or ribbon you're using, it's entirely up to you, it doesn't matter. How beautiful would these be hanging in your garden if you were having a garden party in the summer and these could be the lights, they would be gorgeous. You that. So I think we're at the stage where we've got our winner's names and I'll be announcing those in a K for you all. Um, we'll have a look into that and find out. So apologies for that. Hopefully you found us all on YouTube and wait to pull everything in and make sure it all tucks in together really nicely. Hanging lantern, you can uh, tie it in a bow and make a feature of it. I've got the little lights in there. If it was dark, I can't make it dark. I've got Christmas table even, because they would work really well for Christmas as well, wouldn't they? I think they're absolutely perfect for that time of year, not just for the Moroccan Nights theme. You get to see Olga very quickly. She's just waiting for us to just say uh, a little goodbye to you, Olga. Thanks, everyone. It's been it was a pleasure to meet you. your next collection. Yeah, we'll look forward to that. And you, you take care of yourself, Olga, and we'll see you again very, very soon. See you. I have winners for you. So this is uh, the Paper Discovery Cozy Kitchen Collection. We, uh, and on Facebook, we have Maureen York. Well done to you too on Facebook or by postal address so we can get those prices out to you. That's Jill Taylor and Maureen York. Well done to both of you. And thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Cheers and the new offers tabs for those. There's all sorts going on all the time. But next Friday, I have got a wonderful new enter again. And that's by going over to the Craft Stash blog. That's www.craftstash.co.uk forward slash inspiration. Enter to win. Got it right that time. <laughs> Hope you have, all of you, an absolutely fantastic weekend.